Lick 14, the first of the claw double stops in the style of Jerry Reed. Okay, let's look at some claw double stops right now. We're going to be working with A and D, or A7 and D7. Those are our two shapes we're going to be working around. Okay, so the A shape right now, this is an important fingering to do because we want the pinky finger and the index finger to both be on the B string so we can lift off our pinky so it's going to go from a major to a dominant 7 chord. Okay. And what we're going to do now is look at the right hand technique with the middle finger and ring finger gripped together to create that clawing effect. Okay, and you can get that punch in there too. So it's not like a weak, but a... All right, that's very important. So we're going to look now, we're going to play with our thumb on the G string. And then get the claw. Then thumb. Thumb index. That's the lick there. So we're going thumb, claw, thumb index, claw. And as you can see, I'm releasing my pinky finger here, where my index finger hits. And I come back down on that claw. And then I get the D7, same technique. I climb with the arpeggio. And that's pretty much the lick right there. I'm climbing with the arpeggio by going thumb, index, thumb. Which leads me back into that lick. So let's look at this slowly. There we go.